from Babylon to Timbuktu, the Canaanites and Phoenicians in Africa. The language which is called Hebrew Phoenician or Canaanite was employed in the lands called Phoenicia, Palestine, or Canaan for over a thousand years before the Aramaeans, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob came to Canaan. The Israelites lost the Aramaic language and adopted the Hebrew speech of the Canaanites. The Hebrew Phoenician merchants from the cities of Sidon and Tyre controlled the trade along the Mediterranean coast for more than a thousand years before there were any economic treaties made with the Israelites. The Hebrew-speaking Phoenicians or Canaanites established their greatest city, Carthage, at Tunis in North Africa. All the Canaanites were black people. Before the Phoenicians established their colony, Carthage in Africa, many Hebrew-speaking Canaanites had migrated across Northern Africa. One Tosefta, quoting another source, says that when Joshua approached Canaan, he told the inhabitants that three courses were open to them. They could either leave the country or they could sue for peace or they could declare war against him. The Girgashites, among others, preferred to withdraw into Africa. The Tosefta goes on to say that the Amorites, the Kedmoni, and the Kenites, and the Kenzites, some of whom figure among the founders of Carthage, also went to Africa. These traditions date from a period when communication between Africa and Phoenicia was continuous. The proper names of Girgash and Kenaz are often met within Carthaginian and Phoenician inscriptions. The Talmud says that the Canaanites in Africa asked Alexander the Great to restore to them their country, which had been taken from their ancestors by Joshua ben Nun. These traditions have been ratified by the fathers of the church. Thus, St. Jerome calls to witness the Talmud to support a statement that the Girgashites established colonies in Africa, and St. Augustine designates the natives of Africa as Canaanites. The prophet Isaiah, 1918, says that five cities in Africa will speak the language of Canaan. We should not forget that the Israelites have been engaged in commercial enterprises, activities, and migrations since Solomon's treaty with the Phoenicians. The Phoenicians established their metropolis, Carthage, in the 9th century BC. Eventually, they conquered the neighboring tribes from Libya to the Atlantic Ocean, disseminating their Hebrew Phoenician language and culture in every direction. The Hebrew Phoenician language and culture were invigorated and strengthened by the deportation and the migration of energetic black Hebrews from Palestine. Ptolemy Soter of Egypt conquered Syria and Phoenicia, deporting more than 100,000 Hebrews. The Persian king Cambyses had previously sanctioned the colonization of Hebrews in Egypt. Now, during the wars of the Maccabees, thousands of Hebrews became slaves and exiles. Ptolemy Lathyrus captured 10,000 slaves from the region of the Sea of Galilee. The kings of Egypt, Samtik I and Samtik II, used Israelite garrisons on the Egyptian borders near Libya. The wars with Rome compelled hundreds of thousands more to escape into North Africa. During the Punic Wars and after, North Africa contained a large Hebrew population, and this Hebrew population made converts and intermarried with the Canaanites and the native Africans.